Coronavirus Update. I'm Ben Thomas with an AP News Minute. Some European nations are seeing an autumn rise in COVID-19 cases, but the trend in the U.S. continues downward. The CDC's tracker shows the daily average falling towards 40,000 after spiking close to 130,000 in the summer. In Boston, health officials have found elevated levels of coronavirus in the wastewater, up nearly 100 percent over the past two weeks. New COVID cases have actually decreased slightly over the past week, but the data does not include at-home test results, and city hospitals had 170 new COVID-19 admissions this week. Meantime, the Alliance for Connected Care says about 40 states have ended pandemic emergency declarations that made it easier for doctors to use video visits to see patients in another state. Hospitals are warning doctors not to practice medicine in a state where they don't have a license. In other news, Ukrainian officials say a Russian missile barrage has killed at least a dozen people and wounded dozens more in the city of Zaporizhia. Karen Shamas has details. Firefighters walk over an expanse of rubble and twisted metal. A large plume of smoke is still rising from the middle of an apartment block, which has been totally flattened by Russian strikes. 73-year-old Tatiana Lazunko, who lives in the building, described the moment of the attack. We didn't know what was happening. If we weren't in this place, I don't know what would have happened to us. Between the walls, here's the chair and everything was flying and I was screaming. The rockets that pounded Zaporizhia overnight damaged at least 20 private homes and 50 apartment buildings. The city of Zaporizhia is under Ukrainian control, but is in a region that Moscow has claimed as its own. I'm Karen Chamas. Exciting wildcard games in baseball yesterday. The Guardians eliminated the Rays with a 1-0 win in 15 innings. The Phillies knocked out the Cardinals, while the Mariners did the same to the Blue Jays. The Mets and Padres go to a deciding Game 3 tonight. I'm Ben Thomas, AP News.